everybody real quick video um, for those of you out there who may have a Netgear wireless router model WNDR4000 and are experiencing very very crappy uh, Wi-Fi speeds on your 2.4 gigahertz network I found out how to sort of alleviate that problem see basically uh, my mom and dad they have older smartphones that don't support 5 gigahertz because basically the 5 gigahertz network was, was working fine no uh, speed issues at all with that but the 2.4 gigahertz was just absolutely terrible I mean if you was to go online and do a speed test it was like waiting on a really crappy DSL connection to load and the speed test was very very terrible like a ping of like a hundred something milliseconds in some cases down speeds of maybe about between 0.5 to 1 megabits per second maybe a little higher if you're lucky to get that unless it drops out completely Upload speeds would be about between 1 to 6 megs. Now, the internet speed that I have is Time Warner Cable's Ultimate 200, which is 200 megs down and 20 megs up, so obviously plenty of bandwidth there. It's just the Wi Fi was just crapping out completely. And so basically, if I try to send files to anything that's on Wi Fi, you must pretty much forget about it. Even printing to our wireless printers was taking forever. And listen, if you're trying to browse on the internet on a device that was using the 2.4 gig network, you just pretty much forget about it. Just hook up the Ethernet cable. So basically, we're looking in the uh, wireless utility of my router. And they're all very similar. Matter of fact, Netgear has a knowledge base article on their site on how to take a look into this. Basically, by default, the channel option is set to auto. But I found, you know, that it was just not working very well at all so basically you have some different options you can try for your channels what you can do is instead of using auto you would just set it to either 1, 6, or 11 now channel 1 was awful channel 6 was eh, maybe a little better but channel 11 was the one that was working fine for me now depending on your setup or router things may differ I fear I make this video because there's a lot of people online if you was to look up if you was to literally go online and look up WNDR4000 slow 2.4 gigahertz, you'll get a lot of forum results. People are complaining about the router, saying it's a piece of junk, and you're just having, just having issues with it. But I'll go ahead and do a new test to show you. Initially, um, we was only getting a maybe, you know, like, a, like I mentioned, I, I mentioned the speeds to you. Really, really crappy. And the ping was awful. But we'll test it again, you'll see that it's a lot better this time. Now that last speed test was in fact using you know the channel 11 and we're getting 37 well about 40 megs increasing a little bit the router is in the next room so considering it's going through a wall we're getting close to 50 megs down that's not too bad and the upload is getting near um, the max for the internet connection which is 20 megs now the, the speed test on a hardware connection will net about between let's say 200 to 230 megs down and about 20 to 25 megs up now I'll do a quick test on the phone here which uses the 5 gigahertz network this, this smartphone actually does support the 5 gigahertz connection and I'll just go ahead and do another retest here you can see the results I previously got test again but it's on 3G for some reason. This phone's a really, really wacky for some reason. So you can see it does have the DDWRT 5G there. It supports it. That's um, you know, the SSID and then the 5G tells you which, which you know, which one it is. Go back to speed test here. This to show you um, how fast the internet is on the 5 gigahertz um, connection. Let it use its default settings. Pick it up just a little bit. Let this complete. And of course, it's wide open for the um, yeah getting full upload speed here so we got you know it, it varies 
between 35 to 45 or so down and 23 up so acceptable there so anyways for those of you who have this router or maybe another Netgear product that's you're having really really crappy performance on you know on the wireless end um, 2.4 gigahertz network this is a way you can alleviate the problem just go into your router's firmware and set the channel manually to 1, 6 or in my case 11 Now basically to log into this router you would type in either the IP address which in mine is 192.168.1.1 enter in your password which I believe default is admin admin I don't know for sure I of course change mine um, so anyways you would exit you would just go into you know the basic setup you go to wireless and then down here you would see the channel you will see the channel selection option you just set you just select channel 11 click apply wait a minute or so and then you should be good to go hope this is helpful any questions or comments feel free to ask and thanks for watching